Hello, my name is Evalds and welcome to the another episode of AI Ranch where we explore the wild west of AI technologies that's out there and how it affects the business and daily life of people. This time I want to focus on the audio processing tools and the research that is out there. This episode is short and special, it's more about the news and uh, this will be uh, probably interesting for practitioners, researchers, people looking for new ideas uh, and uh, everyday life uh, use cases. So I will start by uh, the uh, research part and then I will go into uh, actual tools that you can use. Uh, so if you want, you can skip to the other part or pause the video because I will be going quite fast. So the audio LM, audio generation from pre-trained language model, synthetically accurate generation. So this is really interesting because uh, it, it, it seems like a no-brainer that you should start adding language models to the um, speech-to-text models. And uh, this is one of the uh, attempts that, that are recently published. And the interesting thing about it is that word error rate is lower with this one, at least in their experiments. Uh, I would not expect that character error rate is always lower because there might be some uh, words that are very rarely found, but uh, at least the word error rate is lower, good direction for research. So the next one, enabling multilingual capabilities to existing speech-to-speech uh, -speech, uh, models. This is a really interesting research from Meta, Facebook recently. So this is uh, the idea that you would translate the audio content directly from one language to another language without going to the step of uh, transcribing it. So they say there are a few, uh, few advantages for this. One, that uh, the intermediate text might increase the errors. At least in my experience, I would believe the otherwise, that if you would uh, transcribe it and then fix the errors, it might uh, even have the better result. But uh, let's give them that argument. Easier data labeling. So you just need uh, two uh, audio recordings without any um, timestamps and so on. That might be true. And really interesting argument that this might also work for languages which do not have writing. I don't know if there are many languages which do not have writing. So uh, interesting research. Then free uh, VC, free voice conversion, one shot voice conversion towards high quality text free one shot voice conversion. So this is a model and paper. At the end of the last year, we've been already uh, using this in another uh, academic research and uh, publishing soon the paper. Uh, yes, this this method works. We can uh, we can already tell. There's lots of uh, voice conversion models out there. Most of them not so not so high quality. This one is reasonable quality. You could extend this research forward. Next, enhancing conversation quality in language uh, language learning chatbots and evaluating GPT-4 automatic speech recognition error correction. So ACR, automatic speech recognition, is the same as speech to text. So there's many ways how to write this. Again, very similar paper to previous one, which I mentioned uh, by using large language models to improve uh, the errors in the uh, transcriptions. Again, this time, this is, uh, this is kind of also interesting because in the paper, they use uh, also traditional language models, not only the uh, chat-based language models. The results are, are, are better using those, but it's not, not really that decisive in my opinion, but still very good uh, direction, especially because if I understand correctly, if these are, you can correct me in the comments, if these are chat-based models, then I didn't see much of prompt engineering there. So next one, HIVA 3D voice assistant, face-to-face -face interaction for helping to gain a sense of real life communication. So really interesting, again, paper recently where they try to make the robot type of face interaction uh, where they add the, uh, you know, the facial expressions and other things to the chatbot experience. The one uh, kind of uh, red flag there and probably will not be published in very significant conferences is that there is no clear uh, metrics how to evaluate these kind of systems. Again, this might be even better research to try to find how to evaluate these things. So then uh, next one, OpenAI customer service platform announced on LinkedIn. So uh, this will be something very big, I believe, in um, let's say well, one year period probably. 
uh, might, might be might be longer, might be shorter, that they are announcing that they probably will make some kind of API platform for the handling of speech to text, text to speech, uh, automatic chatbot in the middle, uh, some kind of uh, automation of the customer service inquiries where they call the, the to the company and so on. Not sure if that will be so generic, so easy to solve. Uh, as we are working on similar things, it might be that uh, specialized uh, tools with the same technology might be better. So then uh, finally, again, the voice cl cloning uh, thing, like the previously, as I mentioned, the other one, a free VC. So there's uh, videos and, uh, and uh, other posts coming out where the people are fooling bank IDs and other biometric identification systems with these tools. Uh, and uh, you can easily access them like, like Wirebird and other tools in, on the internet where you, or the one I mentioned before, where you can clone your voice. And uh, this is something, uh, I don't believe that there would be lots of opportunity to detect fake voices. Contrary, I think the, the uh, like the universities with the exams, uh, where they need to change the things uh, here, we need to uh, change the way how we authenticate people. It's interesting that the probably the uh, pin codes and, and passwords will come back again. <laughs> so uh, then, uh, then the tools, Let, let's go quickly to some tools. So first, uh, Crisp AI, the built-in um, in the Discord as well, the noise uh, removal tool, also the voice enhancement tool, uh, definitely worthwhile for um, the, the situations if you're working from home and in the background there is noise. They have quite uh, easy to use plugin to, to remove the noise. Uh, like I, had, I have used it when outside there is uh, heavy rain and I need to do the uh, video call. Uh, very useful. So then clean uh, voice AI, they do the same thing focusing for the podcasts. There's, I believe, a lot of tools like that. In our platform, we also have a tool like that. So then author AI, meet, meeting notes and summarization, uh, mostly for the personal use. So you're doing the Zoom meeting and then you get some kind of key points. It's also probably based on language models, probably on open AI. Uh, so the uh, you would you would be easy, more easy to find what you talked about and so on the main points, and on that note, uh, the last one PeachPatterns.com that that's our own uh, sales and customer service uh, teams uh, tool, which is kind of similar to previous ones which I mentioned, is, uh, but it focuses uh, primarily on B two B use cases and business use cases, and uh, then uh, gives the ability for the managers to to see very detailed uh, uh, everything that's happening in the conversations and motivate the agents to do the right things in the conversations. Uh, and that, of course, converts to the, uh, to the money. Thank you for joining the episode uh, today. And please press like and subscribe uh, to increase our reach. And uh, feel free to leave some comments and see you in the next uh, episode.